Bangladesh logged 7,626 new coronavirus cases, the highest count in a day, taking the tally to 6,59,278. The death toll climbed to 9,447 after 63 fatalities were registered in the last 24 hours on Wednesday, according to data released by the government. Riders protest in parts of Dhaka against the government's restriction on ride-sharing services amid a record surge in coronavirus cases. Protesters block roads at Mog Bazar, Kilkit, Mirpur and in front of the National Press Club, demanding an immediate withdrawal of the ban. Public transports resume in the city's corporate area since Wednesday morning in the capital city Dhaka and other city corporations across the country. Buses were plying keeping half of the seats vacant and charging 60% extra fare. However, Longwood buses have been remaining suspended. Indra Mohan Rajbongshi, a singer with an illustrious background in folk music, dies in a hospital in the capital after battling with COVID-19. The Shadim Bangla Beta Kendra musician breathed his last at BSMU in Dhaka at around 10.20 a.m. on Wednesday. National Advisory Committee on Autism and Neurodevelopmental Disorder Chairperson Saima Wazad says Bangladesh's existing social support system, strong ICT infrastructure and robust community-based health services helped many families of the children with autism cope with the challenges they face. Brazil's brutal surge in COVID-19 deaths will soon surpass the worst of a record January in the United States, scientists forecast, with fatalities climbing for the first time above 4,000 in a day on Tuesday as the outbreak overwhelms hospitals. Myanmar troops fire at anti-coup protesters on Wednesday, killing at least five people, wounding several, as activists defied a bloody crackdown and internet blockade by ruling Janta. More than 580 people have been killed, according to an activist group. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un acknowledges his country is facing the worst ever situation as he addressed thousands of grassroots members of his party in Pyongyang. Kim said this while addressing a meeting of the Workers' Party cell secretaries on Tuesday. Today is World Health Day. Every year on April 7, the day is celebrated by people across the world by kick-starting new health campaigns. This year's motto is building a fairer, healthier world. FIFA suspends Pakistan Chad due to government interference, football's global governing body said on Wednesday. A group of football officials led by Ashwak Hussain took over the headquarters recently and seized control from the FIFA committee headed by Harun Malik.